welcome back to Colossal TV, um, our third episode, part two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm Trisha Ray. I'm Chelsea Freeworth. And a big thank you to all our sponsors. Yes, um, and they are Friends of Fancy. Very cool um, clothing. Very nice clothes. They've yeah. been sponsoring our clothes. Awesome tonight. clothes. Uh, World Online Print, Cannington, and also Poster Girls. And a big thank you to the ABN Group and also to BCK Studios who have sponsored this studio space for us. Is smoking still a dirty word? You tell me. Let's find out what people had to say in our street talk back section. So what do people really think about smoking? Is smoking still a dirty word? Let's find out. So this is Albert and we want to know, do you smoke? No. Do you like smoking? No. Why not? Because uh, it's not healthy, so. It's not healthy? Yeah, it's better this. Better that? Yeah. What about when smoke gets in your, your very groomed hair there? Yeah, I don't like it. You don't it. like Nothing it? About smoke. So we got Lisa and Ashley with us, and do you guys smoke? No. No. Why not? Never ever been interested in smoking. Yeah? No, a lot of my friends, family, all that sort of thing smoke, not me. Do you think smoking's a dirty word? Uh, I think it, it's um, everyone's choice, I guess, but I'm just not into it. Do you think these pictures deter your dad from smoking no. at all? No, he still no? smokes. No. Yeah, how long has he been smoking for? Oh, since, I don't know. <laughs> forever? <laughs> since forever? Since, since I've known him, so since he was 19. I think, I think um, young people should smoke, like people my age, I think that's wrong. How old are you? I'm 17, almost 18. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I guess it's people's choice. They know what the, their risks of it and what they're getting into. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Thank you so much. Okay. See you. So, yeah, I've got Maddie and Ali here. Now, you girls used to smoke, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. So, what made you give up? It's not healthy. Not healthy, yeah. Yeah. Um, Aging and just, yeah, not healthy. <laughs> Yucky. <laughs> we did catch you out, I'm sorry to say. So, why do you smoke? Uh, I smoke cigarettes. Do you like it? Yeah, I like it. What do you like about it? I don't know. I, I need a cigarette right now. Makes you feel good? Yeah, Inside? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Smoking know. causes kidney and bladder cancer. Yeah, and in Australia, uh, there are many things so to stop cigarettes. Yeah. Okay, so what do we yeah. think about smoking in general? <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah. Give it up. Don't yeah. do it. Don't do it. Don't go there. No. Stop while you can. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. Glad you gave up smoking. Good on you girls. Thanks. <laughs> we had the opportunity to speak with Sarah Beasley, who is from the Cancer Council WA, about the effects of smoking and um, the surprising statistics that come along with yes, yeah, social social smoking. Well, I used to be a social smoker myself. I didn't realise that yeah, you can get cancer or a hole in your throat or whatever it is just as quickly as someone who's yeah. smoking probably every single day. It's really scary. It, it is really scary statistics. It's, um, it's worth having a look and here's what she had to say. This is Colossal TV and I'm Trisha Ray. I'm Chelsea Frewer. And this is Sarah Beasley from Cancer, Cancer Council of WA. So Sarah, we want to know, is smoking still considered a dirty word? Um, well, smoking rates in Australia have come down a lot over the past 20 or so years. Um, we're doing really well um, through mass media campaigns, research, education, tax, advertising bans or things like this. So it's becoming less and less common. So 20 years is a fairly long time of campaigning. So probably what's been one of the biggest impacts that you feel um, as this anti-smoking campaign? Uh, well, I work on the Make Smoking History campaign um, at Cancer Council, as you said, and we've been going for 10 years, so since, um, well, actually since 2000, so we're coming up on 14 years now. So um, what would you say, like, for actual advertising on cigarette packets, like what impact has that made? So the calls to the quit line jumped up about 79% after plain packaging came in, so that was a really good result, um, and it means that the packets are looking less attractive to teens who are the yeah. most likely people that take up smoking. They might not think that they're at risk when they're at such a young age, yeah. um, but unfortunately, you know, you've heard the saying every cigarette is doing you damage and that, that is the truth. So yeah. yeah, and Chelsea, you were saying something before about um, whether the, it's real on the package or something you heard somebody Yeah, talking. Yeah, a lot of people that I've spoken with, just peers, you know, down in a pub or being out or something like that, have said 
looked at the packages and said that's not uh, people who have had the effects from cancer. They're, they're saying that it's um, people who, who just have had diseases of seriousness and it's not, not uh, tobacco related. Is that true? No, um, actually one of the gentlemen who's on one of the packets at the moment, um, he's a local man from Perth. Wow. And when plain packaging came in, we um, did like a press sort of launch um, at Cancer Council and he came along. You can see the photos on our Facebook page. Um, and he's actually in one of our ads as well. And he's got, like you were saying, he's got um, breeze through his, yeah. his neck and yeah. yeah. And uh, a lot of people will say that they smoke just because it's a social thing. Do you think that's an excuse? Um, the problem is that these people maybe don't think that they they could get the same health risks as someone who smokes a lot more commonly than that, more, yeah. more regularly, but that's not the case. Um, smoking just one to four cigarettes a day can almost triple your risk of heart disease and lung cancer, so there's no safe level of smoking. Yeah. Well, I mean, I used to call myself a social smoker because mm -hmm. I used to smoke because my friends smoke, but I could quite easily not smoke as well, but I probably wouldn't have thought that I could probably get cancer or something like that just as easily as someone maybe who smoked all their life. So that's yeah. you know, probably a good thing to be thinking about if you're just a social smoker. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. All right, well thank you so much Sarah yeah. for coming on the show and That's sharing fine. with us Thanks, and the Cancer Council WA. So Hopefully to get the message out. And to get the message out there that maybe smoking isn't the right thing to be doing and maybe you should have a think about it before you do smoke or if you're social smoking maybe think about that too because it could have just as much effect on you as if you were smoking all of the time. So three or four cigarettes can still give you cancer if, or 20 cigarettes the same. Yep. That's Thank fine. you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks guys. <laughs> I had the opportunity to attend an art exhibition with Eleanor and Kat Breast and it was pretty cool. These girls are pretty young, um, around 19 and 20, saw a variety of people coming through, um, held at Common Ground. Um, now we have coming up next, the interview with these girls. Time, a lot of my designs for interior spaces are very lineal. Uh, they're very much inspired by the mid 20th century modern architecture and design. In 2011, I decided to move to Austin, Texas to live with some relatives. Um, during that time, I worked and um, spent a lot of time painting and illustrating. I um, don't think there's a huge difference between the American and the Australian art culture. I think they're both Western, westernised countries. Um, when I was living in Texas, um, it's a very Hispanic community and I did see a lot of um, Mexican um, influences in the artwork that I witnessed whilst I was there. I can't really pinpoint one person who I'm inspired by or just people in general. I think it's a lot of things that I see here or do or have people around just in general. I think if I see something I like then uh, you know, try and recreate that and put it into my own perspective. Um, I've recently uh, organised a live art show for the Beaufort Street Festival. Um, there's myself and another 10 local artists when we painted on beers. I've decided to organise this just, I guess, people to feel more aware of the, the amazing talent that Perth has. Um, I'm hoping to eventually, when I go back to the States, um, I spoke to someone that owns a gallery in Austin, Texas, and she has agreed to me being a part of one of their um, Under the Stars gallery nights. Just 
So Trisha, I heard that you continued on with the uh, social experiment and you went to Perth and you decided to lick strangers. How'd it go? I, I did. I know it sounds a little bit disgusting. It does. I just thought hugging seemed too easy, so I wanted to make a challenge. So yeah, you made people feel extremely uncomfortable. I did actually. <laughs> How'd it go? Do people, you know, did they do it? Did they let you do it? Mm, let's go find out. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, that's not very hard, trying to get people to hug them. So obviously people like being hugged. I'm going to see if I can lick some people. Hi, it's National Lick Day. I was just wondering if you mind if I licked you, just your fingers? Would that be okay? No. Just the tips of your fingers? <laughs> no. Oh, really? I'm what about, sorry. okay, what about a hug? Okay, I'll take a oh, hug. Oh, great, I'm awesome, thank sorry. you. It's National Lick Day. Can I please lick your fingers? No. Oh, is it okay if I say it's third if you didn't? Really? Okay, what about a hug? Can we hug? Yeah. What about, uh, oh right, yes, right. See, everyone loves a hug. You see, everyone loves it. I like this girl, she likes to be hugged. <laughs> Thanks guys. It's okay. Hi, how are you? It's um, National Lick Day today. Do you mind if I lick you? What, would you like to be licked? Can I lick yeah. your hand? <laughs> what does that feel like? <laughs> it's like a tongue in my hand. <laughs> Thank you for letting me lick you. Hi, how are you? It's National Lick Day. Do you mind if I lick you today? Yeah, I do. You do? Excuse me, I just want to lick you. Not letting me. Hi, okay. it's National Lick Day. Do you mind if I lick your fingers today? Oh, please, no. Oh, really? Will you hug me then? Oh, no. Oh, Babe, hug that. me. Come on, please. <laughs> hug me and leave. <laughs> This is Colossal TV and I'm Trisha Ray. I'm Chelsea Frewer. And today's show we'll be talking about tattoo and amazing skin art. And we've got on the show joining us Troy Tachiach, who is a vegan tattoo artist from Perth. We also have Perth tattoo enthusiast Jenny Baker. So thank you very much for joining us on the show today. Troy, uh, how long have you been tattooing for? I've been in the tattoo industry for quite a few years all throughout the world, but professionally about four years, give or take. Oh. And Joni, when did you decide that you wanted to get tattoos? I guess I always thought they were pretty cool. I always thought that when I grew up, I'd be covered in pretty flowers and whatnot. Troy, um, obviously tattoos have become more socially acceptable, but many people still perceive it as to be a bit of a, you know, a bit of a bad boy image and um, a bit rebellious. Have you got? Have you felt that you've been perceived in that sense? Um. The, the bad boy image is exactly that. It's an image. Uh, I think that the rhetoric with modern tattooing is people who get tattoos to look tough. Yeah. There's a massive, massive group of people within the tattoo community who completely ignore all of that and get art on their body. There's a lot of people fighting and fighting to defeat the old images so that more and more people will get tattooed. I personally believe that rebellion and bad boy are two completely different things. I want to push that tattoos are about rebellion, but they're not about any particular image. And so we're saying you're perhaps a vegan tattoo artist, what does that mean? Um, the big stigma with vegan tattooing is uh, the vegan ink, of course, but that's a little bit of a myth in the in the fact that most good inks are vegan and most upstanding artists will use a vegan ink whether exactly. they realise that or not. Have you ever been, do, I mean for example have you gone for a job and been rejected because of your tattoos? No actually, um, well only because it's the, it depends what line of work you're in of course, sure. you know, I'm a bartender so having that kind of look isn't really a problem. Kind of suits it. No. Yeah, especially seeing as the many bars I've worked in is you know, been quite of a mm. hip vibe as opposed to more traditional yeah. sort of mm. uniform. So what would you say to someone who was thinking about a tattoo, should they just go do it? I have a personal ethos regarding that. If I can talk you out of a tattoo, I will. Okay. If I can't talk you out of it, then you should get it. Awesome. So um, I've seen a girl, I think she's about 22 or 23 now, and she got a tattoo of a bird on her, on her um, wrist. And she paid probably $150 for that. She's now been getting it taken off. And I think she spent about $1,200 so far trying to remove it. With tattoo removals, the, the, the more availability 
becomes their less responsibility for the artist and the client. Yeah. People have come in and literally quoted to me that it's okay if I don't like it, I'll get it removed. So thank you so much for joining us today. So there you go, that's tattoos. Um, should I get one? Shouldn't I? It's up to you. I have recently got one and I love it and I'm looking forward to getting my next one. Chelsea, do you have any? I have one. There you yeah, go. And I love it. I love Are you it. Are going to get another one? Probably not unless I really, I'm really, really certain really about it. Yeah. Unless okay. you can talk me out of it. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thanks guys. So you've been listening to Colossal TV. I'm Trisha Ray. I'm Chelsea Frewer. So it wasn't too weird this show. Uh, yeah, it wasn't. It was, you know, a little bit. It was a little can bit. Can I lick you? No. <laughs> no, you cannot. That's so, weird. <laughs> so we've got our very cool band coming up, Dallas Royal. Yeah, and um, the song is Thrash Belter Jackson. There you go.